Hi everyone and welcome. Before I get started, I just need to do a big shout out to all who are members and donors to my channel. Your support is appreciated and it makes a difference. Okay, today's topic is like a follow on from my video that I did last Sunday where I talked about the narcissist seeking revenge and if they would ever stop. Well, I guess I made it clear that the narcissist wants you to suffer and no punishment or revenge they get on you will ever be enough. Thankfully, as much as narcissists crave your destruction, they are cowards and for many their cruel desires are not ever fulfilled. But why? Why does the narcissist want you to suffer? Some obvious choices would be because the narcissist envies you and hates you, which is true, and that is why they look for the smallest opportunity to take offense so that they can justify all these negative feelings that they have towards you. And to top it off, seek revenge to make you suffer and pay. But let's go a bit deeper. Where does that envy and hate come from in the first place? For many of us, it just seems like the fact that we exist is enough to make the narcissist hate us. And again, that is very true. You do not have to do anything for a narcissist to hate you or want to destroy you. You can be enjoying your little life and minding your own business, but a narcissist will see that and it will anger them, make them envy you and desire to see that smile wiped off your face. Narcissists are filled with negative energy. It is their natural state of being. These negative emotions eat the narcissist alive. Narcissists are actually very miserable creatures. Behind their confident exterior and fake smiles, they are broken and unhappy and they want you to be also. Narcissists are usually very selfish creatures, but this is one thing they have no problem sharing. They want you to share in their misery. The other thing is that as much as they want you to suffer, they don't want you to know how they actually are suffering inside, which I went through in this video. So they create misery for you, then pretend their life is perfect and unshaken. Something else people tend to miss is that the narcissist doesn't only want to hurt you. What they would love as well is if they can influence you to do things that are outside of your character. They want you to engage in what is evil and perverse. They want to pervert your way of thinking, etc. The narcissist knows that the things you do will have an overall effect on you in making you more miserable in the long run. The narcissist wants to change you. They want you to become more miserable and dark like them so that you can have a taste of what it feels like to be them. Basically, the narcissist wants you to suffer because they themselves are suffering. It's hard work living a lie, constantly worrying about whether someone will expose you, pretending to be happy when you are not, wishing hate and destruction on others while telling them all will be well, feeling utterly worthless and ashamed of your true self that you bury it under layers and layers of fake personas, knowing that you are not truly loved as what people are in love with doesn't really exist their inability to make real connections and have happy relationships, the fact that they trust no one and are driven by fear and paranoia, the fact that they rely on their addictions to escape reality. I can go on and on, but the point is, the narcissist knows all this 
and it is an immense burden to bear. That is why the older they get, the more hardened they become. Narcissists do not get better with age, they get worse. The suffering becomes unbearable and they lash out even more. It is harder for them to contain their evil ways, but also their mask becomes cracked and you can literally see the evil on their face. I think it would be fair to say that our hurt and suffering was on the forefront of the narcissist's mind from day one. So the love bombing and convincing us that we are soulmates, twin flames, or whatever else out there was just part of the plan to get us to the point where they can start inflicting some pain. It's like the build up before the fall, with the narcissist knowing full well that the deeper in love you are with them, the more pain they will be able to inflict. The other thing is that they feed off of our misery. They get a high on seeing us broken. The darkness within them seeks to steal, kill and destroy everything in its path. So even if the narcissist did feel for a moment that you were the one who could make a difference in their life, their evil nature overrides any short-lived good intentions that they may have had. Narcissists love it when other people's lives are breaking apart. They love it even more when they are the secret cause of it all. Genuinely happy people annoy the narcissist. They would prefer if everyone faked their emotions like they did and not be truly happy. Narcissists are not happy people. Narcissists do not enjoy life as much as you think. Life is a game to the narcissist and their only objective is to win at everything they do and making you suffer is one of them. Your suffering makes the narcissist feel better about their plight in life. Making others suffer is part of the game and in the narcissist's mind, your suffering means that they are winning. As the saying goes, misery loves company and the narcissist wants others to suffer, not just how they do, but worse if possible. As always, thanks for listening and please be sure to leave me a comment below. I read every single one.